Hi, this is Luann. Today's theme is Gross Motor Skills. Gross motor skills, or large motor skills, require whole body movement and use the large muscles to perform everyday activities like standing, walking, running, and sitting up at the table. Think core stabilizing muscles. Eye-hand coordination skills like throwing, catching and kicking, riding a bike, and swimming. Not only do large motor, motor skills help us to do activities such as walking and running, but they also help us with activities such as dressing ourselves. They allow us to stand on one leg to put a pant leg in without falling over. <laughs> they help with eating and putting away toys. Being able to sit upright will affect your child's ability to participate in fine motor skills such as writing, drawing, and cutting. You may have heard the term crossing the midline. Simply said, it is when we move our arm or our leg across the middle of our body to catch a ball or reach for something from on our left side with our right hand, like this, or vice versa. Do you remember the playground games of Say Say Playmate and Miss Mary Mac? Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, black, black. When we were doing this, we were crossing the midline. When we cross the midline, we use both sides of our body, both sides of our brain, to coordinate movement. It is important to the development of using both sides of our body together. There are a lot of games that you can do with your child to help develop their large motor skills. Hopscotch is great for hopping on one foot, and they may use both of their arms to help them balance. Simon Says allows you to work on body awareness. Simon Says puts your right thumb on your left shoulder. Simon Says touch your left elbow to your right knee. Simon Says hop on your left foot. There are a lot of children's songs that work on body parts. The Body Part Game with Greg and Steve, Toe Leg Knee with Jim Gill, and Sticky Bubblegum with Carol Peterson. You can play catch with a large ball. Go to a playground. Have your preschooler climb on the jungle gym. Show your child how to pump their legs on the swing. Do you remember the first time you were able to do that and how proud of yourself you were when you could do it? They may have difficulty the first time they try an activity. Be patient. If they don't appear engaged in that activity, try another one. Remember that children develop at their own pace. During the ages of three to five, preschoolers will be jumping, balancing on one foot for a few seconds. Walk backwards, bounce and catch a ball, skip and gallop. As their skills develop, they will be able to do them for longer periods of time with more intensity. Whether you are hopping, skipping, jumping, or playing catch with your preschooler, have fun. Thanks for joining me today.